I go, I feel that, you know, God is just constantly, you know, rolling out a red carpet. It's not to say that it's all sunshines and, and rainbows and flowers, but it's been very joyful to be able to do what I love and still consistently see improvement. Like, where's the lie? Through the years, the world has witnessed the way Noah Lyles got his fair share of wins and losses, until he eventually became an Olympic champion last month. That's not surprising, given his mindset. The more competition I get to face, the better I get. So I say, you know, whoever wants to run, let's run. Because of this, fans are questioning Lyles' decision to end the season early. Never one to keep secrets from his fans, Noah Lyles issued a clarification for his absence from the Diamond League series after the Paris Olympics. After winning two medals at the Paris Olympics, the 100-meter Olympic champion revealed that he had decided to end his season post-COVID concerns. In case you needed a reminder, Lyles won his first Olympic gold medal at the Paris Olympics in the men's 100-meter in a photo finish with Jamaican athlete Kishane Thompson. He then marched on to his pet event, the 200 meter, where he finished third after clocking 19.70s. The USATF later revealed that Lyles tested positive for COVID-19, but still opted to compete in the finals of the men's 200 meter The American Athlete, then decided to opt out of the four by 100 meter relay and conclude his Paris Olympics campaign. After the Paris Olympics, his fellow athletes, Letzil Tobogo, Kenny Bednarek, Fred Curley, and others made back-to-back -back appearances in the Diamond Leagues, whereas Lyles, on the other hand, opted out of the event. Unsurprisingly, his absence led to fans questioning his plans for the rest of the 2024 season. When he arrived at the US Open to witness the women's singles final, he spoke about his absence from the Diamond League events after the Paris Olympics. Running right now, no, no, no. I ended my season. Okay. You know, we decided that uh, after the COVID situation that we were just going to call it there. Okay. Instead, he is enjoying his time off the track, as he said. You know, I didn't want to keep pushing. Plus, I wouldn't have time to come out here and, and enjoy the gold medal tour, as I call it. As he wrote in an Instagram post, it wasn't how he hoped his 2024 Olympic journey would go but he's happy about the experience nonetheless. It is not the Olympic I dreamed of, but it has left me with so much joy in my heart. I hope everyone enjoyed the show, he wrote. He also made sure to express his appreciation to the people who rooted for him. For sure, it had not been an easy journey, not just for him, but those dear to him too. His mom, Keisha Kane Bishop, particularly, was frantic after seeing her son being removed from the track moments earlier in a wheelchair after he took third in the men's 200 meter dash. Shortly after, a rumor started floating through the mixed zone. Lyles had COVID-19. Athletes from other events and those who took part in the 200 began trickling through the mixed zone. Some, particularly those who competed shortly after the men's 200, were clueless. Nevertheless, the others cared little that Lyles competed with the virus. The winner of the race, Letzile Tobogo of Botswana, first noticed something was wrong with Lyles when he saw that the American was wearing a mask and that the protection remained on his face during the pre-final warm-ups. Not in his best shape, Tobogo said. He's going through something. When a reporter informed him that Lyles had COVID, he simply asked, who said that? before adding, I don't think he put anybody at risk. Likewise, silver medalist Kenny Bednarek was unbothered. From what I heard, he's got something that went on, so I don't really know what's going on with him, Bednarek said. I mean, I will probably talk to him after this to see if he's okay, which I hope so. After being reminded that he hugged Lyles after the race, he was quick to assure, I'm healthy. I do everything I can to make sure my body's healthy. Unsurprisingly, a lot were in awe of Lyles after winning bronze despite his condition. Noah, I didn't know, wow, said Jasmine Jones, who finished fourth in the women's 400 meter hurdles. That's crazy, congratulations to him. He's fantastic for that. That's really impressive. Congratulations, hats off. Yeah, wow, I didn't know that. It was later revealed that only his family, doctor and coaches were in the know. Not even his teammates were aware. I was going to compete regardless, Lyles said. If I didn't make it to the finals, that would have been the sign not to compete. 
but he did, and eventually claimed bronze. To be honest, I'm more proud of myself than anything coming out and getting a bronze medal with COVID, Lyle said, but that also meant that he had to cut his season short, and he's making the best of it. As a matter of fact, Noah Lyles is on full throttle to make the most of his free time. He apparently went on a vacation with Jamaican girlfriend Junelle Bromfield, who also competed in Paris. Then, he walked the ramp at New York Fashion Week. In fact, the Olympians have taken over the New York Fashion Week. After finding success in Paris, Team USA's stars have transitioned from the Olympic stage to the ramp. Gold medalists such as Noah Lyles, Sunisa Lee, and Jordan Chiles look just as effortless as fashion icons as they do on the competitive stage. While it started with Lyles, even his Olympian girlfriend, Junelle Bromfield, made her fashion show debut at the 2024 NYFW. Lyles, known for his love of anime classics like Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece, was the perfect choice for this anime-inspired fashion debut. Strutting down the runway, Lyles rocked a green jacket and yellow cargo pants, each piece infused with nods to One Piece characters. The back of his jacket proudly displayed the slogan, Straw Man Crew, a tribute to Luffy and the One Piece universe. His look was topped off with a dark magenta cap, featuring the blue DMC logo, bringing a perfect blend of street style and shonen flair. Not to be outshone, Bromfield dazzled in a sporty purple dress that carried its anime charm. While her ensemble was more understated than Lyle's, it still boasted One Piece graphics on both sleeves and the DMC logo front and center, giving off a chic yet playful vibe. As the show wrapped up, the couple made a final appearance with Steve Aoki, American DJ and record producer, walking out to roaring applause as One Piece scenes lit up the LED screens behind them. But that wasn't the end of it. Lyles also found time to unwind with Lewis Hamilton while watching the U.S. Open Women's Final. In a clip posted by U.S. Open, Lyles and Hamilton were shown chatting. The post was fittingly captioned, the fastest men in the world. Lyles' packed schedule also allowed him to attend the men's final, where he was spotted with tennis legend Stan Smith in the box. Off the limelight, he also has grand plans for his downtime. In an Instagram story, he promised to fulfill a new goal. While keeping his girlfriend beside him, he said, As Junelle is my witness today, I am starting One Piece. For context, the series created by Aikuro Oda is considered to be one of the longest-running anime series in history. True to form, Noah was not the least bit worried. Rather, he boasted, I think I'm truly prepared on this journey. All he has now is the knowledge of reading manga for 50 chapters and watching 10 to 12 episodes. But what would be the defining factor is his immovable love for the manga. The reality is that catching up on One Piece, which began in 1999 and is now in its 38th season with episode 1117, will be a significant time commitment. But on completing his binge watch, Noah added, I should be done before December. That felt unbelievable to Junelle. She eventually asked, do you have time to watch it? Her boyfriend replied, I have time at this point in the season, yes, to watch it. It seems like the American record holder on the track is going to set another record, but on the viewing time. If you're more interested in what's actually happening on the track, watch this.